Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Tonton here and today I have a brand new miniaturized Optimus to show you and of course that would be the Transformer Wolf of Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Optimus Prime and without further ado, let's get to this figure. So here we have Optimus, another Optimus. This is the Core Class which is a miniaturized class and I don't know about Hasbro intention because at first I thought core class is meant to be for like characters which is really small like Red Trap or Vetterbrick which I'm gonna review soon but then again we have an Optimus right here and he's not a small character so I think the reason for this class would be for him to play around with the Ark which is might be the upcoming uh, Titan class and then also for playing with Omega Supreme or Scorponox I think they work on great scale next to one another and apart from that, my only question would be Will this core class be a continuum for replacement from the Legend class? Or this is only appears in Kingdom? But I think we will have to wait for those answers in the future. And now to, back to Optimus. So here we have his G1 truck mode. And the first thing I want to mention right here is that the front of the truck is kind of way too high. I mean for the scaling, I guess I'm going to bring in the Earthrise Optimus which could be a similar and as you can see here the upper section the front section of the core class is really long comparing scale to the actual Voyager class Optimus which is kind of odd to me because of the scaling but apart from that I guess this is because of s small scale and the overall transformation that they still require to have for this figure itself so um, let's remove Optimus out and let's see if this guy is anything near good figures so at first we can see that he got a painted window and an Autobot logo here the color scheme is still the same this is the same color that they use on the Earthrise version so there's nothing too exciting here the feet is showing up in the robot mode uh, in the vehicle mode I guess because the scaling so it will be hard to make a joint so apart from that there's nothing way too excited about this guy right here and yes, he can store his weapon. He only came with his blaster and you can connect it to it, this hole right here. Just like this. I mean, that is weapon storage and you cannot ask too much about it. And you got some silver painted in the front. And that would be almost all the paint you got on this guy. And about the size, this is where thing is interesting here. So I'm gonna bring in some other small size transformer for you to compare so here we have optimus next to a micro masters window and as you can see i feel like the scaling here is quite perfect i think that is what an actually four seated car looks like next to a truck and for the other comparison i'm gonna bring in the transformer prime beast hunter cyberverse ultra magnus and to remove this window out and actually, I think they are on similar size here because the, uh, the wheels are actually the same size. The wheels here are actually quite similar, so I think that their size are equal, which is really nice. But then again, Ultra Magnus is better in the presentation because of the front section of the truck is not as high as Optimus. So yeah, and another company I'm going to bring in for now will be the Deluxe Class Ironworks at his base mode. So just give you a glimpse of how they stand next next to one another, and I think like Optimus is here next next to and work is some really good scaling over here. I think this scale works, and I would be happily to display this guy with all the base I got from all this parts forming guy here. And so now let's get to transformation. Finger transformation. First up, remove the gun, and then you can split out his two legs and bring them down. <laughs> bring out the arms and you can take out the hand as well repeat the same thing and then rotate the chest at this point you can start bringing this leg down and bring this whole hip section down like that and you can lock the waist in
And now for the head, open up this panel. And this is quite tricky because I still find this hard to take out. So I normally I use his gun right here to push it from below like that. Uh, flip up the head and it usually got falls off from time to time. So yeah, that is quite bad. But I guess because of the size, we, there's nothing we can talk and we can ask for. And we are done. So finishing transforming Prime to his robot mode and I think this is the way I would prefer him because he would look better in this gear. And I'm quite impressed with the engineering. I think that this is quite a good figure from the front section. Of course, we can ask too much from a, such a mini figures. So I mean like this, the, all the details that you will see from the truck mode. And the only paint apps that is new that I didn't show you before will be for the leg. This is the same as the Earthrise Optimus we have, we have seen before. So there's, there's nothing too special here. So I think I would only focus on the head scope and the hands, which is the new part. So I mean like the head scope here is st still a beautiful head scope. I'm going to bring it in for you guys to see. There we go. And you still got that classic color of blue and silver from Optimus. And you can see the eyes, which is really nice and popped. And other than that, that is the only new thing about this guy here. And of course, the level of details are still amazing. And I would be so surprised. So for the best comparison, I'm going to bring in my Cyberverse Ultra Magnus. This is two same scale figures. And as you can see, the details on Ultra Magnus is nowhere near Optimus here. This shows the difference between the design of the old Transformer and the new Transformer nowadays. And I think I will put them aside for the size comparison right now. Because that, I think that will be wrapping up my videos. And as you can see right here, they work perfectly next to another Ultra Magnus. It's still taller than Optimus. And I love this. I enjoy this scale. And also, this is the point where you see how much the engineer transport have gotten better. Because this is the same class figures. And as you can see, Ultra Magnus still shows a lot of kibbles around the eye, arm area and the feet. But looking for, op for Optimus, that is a really nice wrap up. And I'm going to bring in Red Trap for comparison as well. This is the comparison between Optimus and Red Trap. And to be honest with you, when I first held Optimus in my hand, I got a feeling that he's a really small figure. And I got the thought that maybe Red Trap is bigger. But after holding them, having them standing next to one another, I realized that they are on the very same scale. Which is really nice. And that would be it for the size comparison. I think it's about time we get to some articulation. The articulation begins with the head. He can look up and down slightly because of the transformation gimmick. And he can do a full rotation. That's it. And then we, we have the arms, they can move out like that, do a full rotate. And the knee, the, the elbow is on the ball joint, so it can swivel around and do a 90 degrees bend. The arms doesn't have any articulation because the old transformer the thingy. He got no waist swivel. And the leg is on the ball joint, so he can kick up kick back which is really impressive he can he can get an up crunch uh, by because of the transformation gimmick and that would be really nice this is the bend of the knee and this is also one ball joint so you got a swivel and there's no pivot because this is fixed so I mean like the articulation is decent enough for a core class but I would expect more since I have whole very nice core class like Red Trap but then again, I cannot complain too much. So should you buy this figure? I mean, yeah, kind of, because this could be the figures that you would want to play with your parts former and the other Titan class transformer. And other than that, I see no reason to buying this guy unless you want something small and compact and you can carry around and play with. So that would wrap up my Transformer War for Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom core class Optimus Prime. Do tell me what you think about these figures. Leave a comment in the comment section below and also message me on Instagram and that is where I do most of my updates and of course if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures feel free to buy me a coffee link is in the description below so that will be it for today guys Tantan out